Hello Hellions. Uh, I'm sitting here just posting on Facebook. I know I talk a lot about Facebook, but this is where... Thank you. Facebook right now is like the, the, the media, so it's like kind of live between us. Um, anyway, long story short, room transitions. I just got through posting the uh, the call out for ideas. We're going to have the clothes that the people have to walk through from the uh, closet to the kids' bedroom. Besides black plastic, what are some transitions that we can put up that people have to walk through from room to room? Um, right now we need basically um, an idea for the old lady's bedroom to the bathroom, bathroom to living room, living room to dining room, dining room to kitchen. Give me your ideas, I'd love to hear them. Post them down in the comments. What did you do? <laughs> um, it's mini me! Shut up! <laughs> I went to the um, thrift store because I was just, I was looking for some more stuff for the um, the solarium, but uh, everything they had was too expensive. But I had walked by the pictures and they had all these really old looking pictures and they were only a couple of bucks each, so I said heck with it. <laughs> yeah. Nice Troy. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Those I'm just two. displaying the art. Leave me alone. <laughs> Those two went together. <laughs> 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 this one. Wow. <laughs> one. Okay. <laughs> Next. You got this old looking one here. And then this creepy I like kid that one. In the middle here. And then this old wooden church and frame and stuff. Yeah. It's all beat up and all this kind of stuff. The lady said that she would give me um a good price on these old chairs there that look almost Victorian for like five bucks. So you guys just got through seeing everything that Lori Lee found and got today as far as the pictures and whatnot. I will tell you baby, you've got a good eye. Yeah, because I saw a few other things there that I couldn't pick up myself. Um, you needed the truck for or, you know, somebody to pick it up for you. But we just went back and got it. And who says that you can't make deals at Goodwill is like, we were telling the guys, like, okay, they wanted 1995 or whatever for this chair, but I was like, dude, five bucks, I got the truck, I take this ugly thing out of here tonight. And he's like, ah, eh, eh. So we got it for $5.99? $6.99. $6.99. Marked down from 20 bucks. So you can make deals at Goodwill, you just know, have to know, I guess, how to talk to them or find the right person at the right time. Yeah, I kept sticking my belly out. I think it made it feel a little bit bad. <laughs> <laughs> that or he's got a fetish for pregnant women. Oh. <laughs> but it looks like a good chair that, um, that you know, our character would be sitting in. So I think it would be good for, like, her living room or whatever, you know? Yeah, because we need furniture. Yeah. We still need a bathtub and a toilet and a kitchen sink and some countertops and possibly yeah, we, a bunch of other use, crap. We can get one piece of plywood and make a whole kitchen countertops, you know? You went in there and I didn't say anything. You went in there and you touched everything that I was going in there to show you. Yeah, they, they had a clock in there and I'm like, oh, and she said, I already looked at it. It's like 50 bucks. If it was 20, I would have got it. I'm like, ah. Oh. I think I saw these today and the lady said $5.99 for these. It, does, it kind of reminds me of the Archie Bunker chair for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the $20 chair, guys, that turned out to be 7 bucks. Ugly lamp, 6 bucks for the pair. So now we got to go and like do other things because see that, guys? See that sun? It's starting to set. And then tomorrow we've got blog TV at 7 p.m. So there's not going to be a whole lot of time to do other things. So we need to get going. So leave us alone. Sunday, so we have two oh, days yeah, I'm just two, kidding. Leave us alone. Two days to paint. Yeah, three days to paint before we get possible rain on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. It's going to rain in western Washington. We are through our first stack of panels and we're on to our second stack with plenty to go. And so that just means that what we don't use this year will be just ready for pro next year. Minus getting the other piece of plywood on the back of them to make them all double-sided. I forgot to tell you guys, um, Keith called me last night in the middle of me doing my walkthrough, and then I went and I thought that I filmed the rest of it, and I didn't. So, what you guys didn't see yesterday is this. Old lady's room, bathroom, living room with piano. Dining room here egress, which I still have to put that stuff up here and maybe shorten this distance a little bit. Uh, dining room goes into kitchen, and this is what we finished last night also. So here's kitchen, and then kitchen goes into the basement. 
So right now I'm dealing with the dilemma of trying to make that go down. That has to go down like probably about a foot and a half. So then we take the eight foot height and drop it down to about six and a half feet. So it looks like you're going down into a basement. Obviously, you hear that Lori Lee is painting. What's up? I already got all this one. Wow. She's only been out here for like 20 minutes. If that. Not that I know you've been 10 minutes. Nice, baby. I like you. Get her done. And Keith made it back today, too. Hey, guys. <laughs> what's up? <laughs> we are... Well, he's going through and doing the bracing that we were talking about yesterday. Now, I just want to get this down so that it doesn't get too dark yet. I extended this piece right here by about five and a half inches, four and a half inches, to give a smaller opening between the two pieces right here when you go out of the kitchen. So that's what we're, that's that, the that, 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 never mind. That's what we're doing. That's what Keith's doing. <laughs> I don't know how better to explain what we just got through talking about. We're going to do some shit. Yeah. We're going to do some epic stuff and it's going to be really cool. And now we know what we're doing, kind of. You guys know how I am at saying, oh, I'm going to do a tutorial, which I haven't forgotten about the one for the motion sensor. Believe me, I haven't. I'll probably get back into that when I start doing the piano. However, right now, if I ever turn this into a tutorial about how to do a basement or something, the effect of going downstairs when you're using eight foot walls, when you're not actually going downstairs or going down any. I'm going to try and explain this really quickly. So basically what I've done is I want to drop the ceiling down from 8 feet, which is at the top, to 6.5 feet. So I've drawn a line at the 6.5 feet mark. Now, you know that the panels are 4 feet wide. So if we go from the top, which you're actually starting from this piece of wood over here because things aren't the same as far as there. Starting up there, taking 4 feet down to this line. So that's where the roof piece is going to end. We are now going to take screws and we're going to drill them through this side, pull them back out, and then that way we'll know where our hole is at. We'll take them through the other side. Those screws are going to get attached to this side of the wood right here. Over on this side, Keith and I have taken this 2x4 to basically hold the top side of this other piece of panel, or the other side of the panel. And then from there, we're going to take another 2x4 and attach it to the side down here just temporarily. And we'll attach it to a panel. So let us do that. Maybe. This is going to be hard. Are you ready? Yeah. So here's one complication so far. And you probably can't see it because I'm just following the line. But it looks like this is lower than over here. It's actually the ground that's low. And I haven't told you guys this. I've been having a hell of a time with the uneven ground and the panels. This isn't a bad one, but just for instance, the panels are like stair-stepped right here. And then it goes down again over there. Simply because the ground is not level. But as far as this goes, uh, we put a temporary 2x4 right here uh, just to hold this corner up. We went and put two long screws up at the very top to hold it up there. Uh... And then, like I said, four screws coming in from this side of the wood, through the wood, to over here. Now, this is going to be the exit right here. We're still going to panel here because it's not going to work if this isn't a closed-in space as far as the distance between here and where it's going to be over here. So we're going to close this in and make it more like a small corridor. But as far as this, you can kind of, kind of see how this is going to work. It's going to be cool, guys. It's, it's going to be really cool. Uh, some other ideas really quick for the basement, because this is really cool. This is like altering your perception and everything. It's just not a haunt that you walk through. This is like something that's supposed to be downstairs. Handrails that start up here that go down here a little bit. Boards that follow the contour of the roof going down. Below, um, also boards until you get into the basement. Then everything is going to be dry locked, basically to make it look like stone or concrete, concrete foundation. Uh, the top, once we get to the top, I'm thinking about taking some more, some of, my, some more of the old fencing and putting it up above, up here, to make it look like you might be downstairs and there's a, um, there's something above you. Or I might just concrete or dry lock that too. It depends, what do you guys think? Do you think this is like an outside basement or do you think this should be inside the house? Let me know. 
All right, guys, so just a reminder once again, when you are seeing this today, the 7th of September, Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern, Blog TV. We're doing it live. <laughs> <We're>... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So tune in. It's going to be awesome. Whoa, I think we'd get shut down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, but other than that, it is time for some... <coughs> Excuse me. What time is it? Hairball? Cock. <laughs> oh, God. That was kind of scary. <laughs> Brian Kelly, as much as a perfectionist as you are, I'm surprised to see you not doing double-sided panels where they usually would be used, where they would usually be used. Like the pink room. Not that big of a deal. Just surprised since you normally don't take shortcuts. I'm yeah, assuming, Mr. Anal. I'm assuming it's because of cost reasons. Yes, all the panels are supposed to be double-sided. That's how the tongue and groove is supposed to work. So we've got like a tongue and like half a groove. Well, as long as we got the tongue. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, you got to tune in tomorrow because I think it's going to be interesting <laughs> as hell. Baldzilla Bill, since the fire pit is in the middle of the haunt, is or will there be a smoldering fire in it? A fake one. A fake one, yes. <laughs> With the cauldron. We don't want to burn everybody's houses down and our fence and then this house. There is no Dana, only Zoo. What a beautiful singing voice you must have. <laughs> nice. Jordan 102197. Rounded to the nearest decimal point. Awesome work, guys. I feel lazy now. I've only started the fence walkway for my haunt. Well, get busy. Yeah, what's taking you so long? They've been do we've been doing it all year over here. Yeah. You worked on it all freaking year, and now it's like September 6th, and it's still... It's like so much to do. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Well, like they said last night, we had the flip flop with going pro, not going pro, going pro, not going pro. I don't think that the people that go through really appreciate the freaking work people put into this, to this. No, you know, honestly though, a lot of them do because, like last year, a lot of people were saying, like I, I remember this one person is like, "Oh my gosh, how would they get this?" And people saying, "Oh my gosh, this is better than Fright Fest." Whoa. Which I want to keep my personal opinion of Fright Fest to myself. Hyperflex Harrington Five. Epic Bill, guys, can't wait to see this year's video scare feed. Um, yes, we are still going to do a live feed on Blog TV of the Haunted House all three days, guys. Where? Huh? Where? Where what? Where's the live feed going to be from? Oh, I haven't, I haven't figured that out yet. It'll be somewhere in the Haunted House. It'll be scare somewhere. Well, no. Yeah. No shit, Dick Tracy. We're, we're going to film the queue line all night long, guys. You get to watch the queue line. Yeah. A magic production. Are guys having a chainsaw this year? No. No chainsaws. No. Lori Lee is drawing up the haunt, too, so that we can start placing things in their rightful perspective. Stop moving it. I'm Sorry. moving it down to pan, and you're moving it down, too. It's not working. It's like yeah. trying to go up the down escalator. I'm drawing each room so that I know where I'm going to put decorations and what walls, what color walls I'm going to put in and all that kind of stuff. Excellent. And I'm going to draw the decorations in as we put them. Cool. So then by the time this is finished, it's going to be like an aerial view. 818 Silencer 818. What state is this located at? Washington State. Sherrick 97. I have already started putting the Halloween decorations up and tried something new with a black light this year on my entryway. If we're using any black lights and want to use a non-permanent method to make things glow on the wall like I did, use laundry detergent. I tested it out with a cheaper clear detergent called Sun. Make sure whatever you use does not contain bleach. It will continue to glow until you are ready to wash it off. The pro is you will have clean walls after. I did not put my burp in there. Yeah, I just edited the burp out and then I've got you saying better not put my burp in there. Oh. Yeah. So that part goes in, so keep going. <laughs> HHN Survivor. This is so inspiring, it makes me want to go out and put my whole haunt up now, but it's dark out. <laughs> Quick question, what will be in the front where the front entrance was last year? The front is going to be the Whisper Maze. It's a secret. It's not a secret. Shh. No. The, the front is going to be Whisper Maze. We're not going to have a facade or anything out front. All we're going to have is a sheet of plywood painted black, two doors on it, one person letting one group split up into two doors right away. They get split up. 
So that should be interesting. And that's stemming from the whole choose your own path last year, which worked out really well. Team Ella, yay blog TV. I think a lot of people are getting out of haunting around here because of the recession really isn't over where I am. It's totally lame. My neighbor is having a haunt garage sale. So I am camping out in front of his house on Saturday. That nice. is cool. And I, I don't understand people getting out of haunting. Just, you know, use what you had last year and redo it. It doesn't cost anything. I mean, if you want to build and keep going, then yeah, but huh, that's kind of interesting. Oh, oh, by the way, the recession is not over here either. And uh, she goes on to say, one more comment. Where I live, you can have a home-based business, but you have to apply for a license. We can have a home-based business here also. However, we cannot have an attraction in a residential neighborhood. That's the biggest thing about the whole thing. Twisted faces. Looks good. So what are you doing for a ceiling? I suggest using the tight 1-inch lattice, 4-inch by 8-inch sheets for when you go pro, you can have them also. We were discussing this comment just before we filmed it, and originally I was thinking we're using black plastic, and then the thought occurred to me that in some areas to where the black plastic might sag, that lattice might actually be pretty good to take away those areas so that water doesn't pool. But basically, yeah, 6 mil black plastic. 20 feet by 100 feet, $98 at Lowe's per roll. Drop dead. Looking great. Awesome. Thanks, Barry. Adam's Haunted Manor. So have you made the piano work yet? And why is the haunt going to be a secret? I'm going to buy some of the cereal. Steve had some with his kids a day or so ago. Oh, Steve. Steve Haunted Yard? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was pretty good. You got to go get some. The haunt's not really a huge secret. It's like I, I just want to like... I want to string you guys along until we figure out what we're doing in a room. <laughs> no, we have not made the piano work yet. And my thing is is that if there's no haunt to put it in, it doesn't matter. So haunt needs to get built. I was going to say, wait a minute, what? And then the props that we have, we will continue to work on until the end of the month. The end of the month is when we start working on everything out front. Midnight's in Witchium. I can't wait to start putting up our school's haunt, but we can't start until October 15th. Well, that would make sense, because I'm sure the school doesn't want it all all around the, the uh, interrupting, uh, what do you call it, edumacation. That kind of sucks. That's not that much time. To, uh, what's your square footage? We should find out the square footage for the backyard, too. That when, way when people say, how big is your haunt? Well, yeah, and that then way I, I can, can tell them. Awoken Nightmare. Are you going to be playing any music in whichever room you end up putting the piano in? No, that room is going to be quiet except for the bong of the piano. There's going to be sounds in a lot of the haunt. Probably not music, maybe some in some certain places. Just, I haven't figured that out yet. Just bloody screams. Oh. Baby? Yeah. You got cock in your hair. Yeah. Gross, I gotta go wash it now. <laughs> happy haunting. All right, guys. Happy haunting. See you guys tomorrow. Um, but while you were awake, yeah, were you all well? Nah. Um, but while you were awake. <laughs>